An excellent question. To read more novels with queer women protagonists. I feel like my reading resolution is the same as every year, which is just read more. I always start strong, and then I just, just go down. So I need to give more time to reading. In 2017, I want to not panic about reading. Sometimes I just feel so much pressure from everyone reading so many books, and I just want to let go of that. To read at least a book a month, best of fact. Oh, I read an okay amount of books in 2016, but I would really, really like to read more. So my resolution is just to read as much as I possibly can and like make time for it. I don't make nearly enough time for reading as I should. I would like to read more non-fiction in 2017. It was also my 2016 New Year's resolution and I did pretty well, so why not keep going? Uh, read more non-fiction. I read a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I read more fiction than non-fiction. I'm always interested in stories. There's a whole other world of books out there uh, that are able to teach me things. I think it would be good to sort of engage with those. My 2017 reading resolution is to finish off series that I've read one book of and haven't completed yet. I would like to just read by whim for a year because I always kind of end up doing lots of buddy reads and book groups and all that kind of thing. So I just like to read by whim for a year and get through some more back catalogue stuff. I think I want to read 50 books in 2017 because I read 30 this year and that was sort of just getting back into reading in a big way so I think next year I'll try to add 20 more to that. I just want to read a couple of classics. I'm really bad at reading classics. I read modern stuff. I'd like to go back and read Great Expectations and Pride and Prejudice and that stuff. It, all likelihood, no, I won't. Sometimes I pressure myself into finishing a book if I'm not enjoying it very much and I'm going to stop doing that because there are too many books out there.